Look around. Make yourself comfortable. This is your new home. What are you drinking? Sarsaparilla. Straight? Might add a dash of cherry. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I called you a sugar foot. That's all right. By the way, what does that mean, anyhow? A sugar foot is someone who's trying to work his way up to be a tenderfoot. You mean, you heard of me, too? Everybody's heard of you. You're yellow, like all sheriffs. Hoped it didn't show. Not it does, it shows all over you. You're a lily-livered coward. Hey, you got another dash of that cherry? Yeah, sure. Thought you said you couldn't handle guns. All I said was I hated him. Wonderful invention. Make little men big, heroes out of cowards, just by moving one little finger. Tools of the devil. But you've given me hope. For revenge? For justice. That's a good word. I believe in that. And I believe in you, Tom. Don't give me too much to live up to, Katie. I wouldn't want to disappoint you. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, confuse me? You're already confused, Billy. Go on. Do what your big, brave cousin tells you to do. Go on, gun me down, kill me. Like I say, Barney, you're under arrest. Well, Tom, that's the way you want it. You'll never make the charge stick. Brewster, just remember one thing. You're not a sugarfoot anymore. Oh, I, I almost forgot to thank you for the boots. They sure fit fine. Well, now, you take a man who carries a gun. Seems like sooner or later he's going to have to use it. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, it's all right for them that likes violence. Me now, I'm just a peaceable fellow by nature. Sure to thank you, Mr. Katie. There's enough there to get yourself a soft hotel bed and, um, oh, anything else you might uh, hanker after. A bath, a beefsteak, and a soft bed? <laughs> what else is there? I wouldn't know. I always knew they were a mighty peculiar breed. Who were peaceable men. <laughs> Tell me, Tom, and I swear it won't go any further. Did you ever kiss her? <laughs> nah. But we, uh, we bundled a little. Bundled? They still do that in New England. It was on a sleigh ride under a bare rug in a blizzard. I gotta lend you the money. You got a lot to learn that you won't find in no law books, and somebody's gotta pay for the schooling. Gee, thanks, Wasco. You go to school by mail? Well, I mean, they, they teach you by mail. You know, it's a, it's a correspondence school for people who can't afford to go to regular colleges. They study at home. And where's home? Anywhere I can get a job, if not here, the next town. Hmm. Read the law. Well, I suggested you read the law, sir. What? Especially Section 21, Article 7 of this state's Constitution, which says, and I quote, 
Every person of good moral character, being a voter, shall be entitled to practice law in all courts of justice. It says that. You're a lawyer, Mr. Newcomb. You ought to know. You're alive. Hang, the rules this claim's got to be filed. In the morning. Then I'll wait here. You can't do that either. That's against the law, too. This is government property. Your quarter's upstairs, that government property, too? Well, I'm not so sure. Good, I'll be delighted. To what? To be your guest. But you can't do that. I got a small bunk and I'm a fat man. The floor will suit me fine. And I snore. Well, that'll sound better than the whine of bullets. Besides, I wasn't intending on doing much sleeping anyhow. I just want to be first in line tomorrow when you open up. I better take it easy. I've been without water for a day and a half back there in those hills. Where's your horse? While I was sleeping night before last, Finally, I came along and swapped horses with me. Only one thing made it unfair. What? This horse is dead. Oh, Sugarfoot, ever knocked me down and lived to tell about it. Now get down out of there and go for your gun. Look, mister, I don't even know you. And you surely don't know me. I don't see where it's going to be any satisfaction, gunning each other. Don't you worry. I was there. I saw everything happen. I'm so sorry you had to be mixed up in this. Well, you shouldn't be. It's just an accident, just self-defense. Nobody's gonna do anything to you with me around. Thanks, Tim. Now you just wait and see. This is a law book, Ann. There's an awful lot of writing in there. An awful lot to learn. But you don't have to read every word to learn one thing. A mighty important thing. The law is for everybody. It wasn't made just to punish. It was made to protect, too. Maybe you feel real lucky today. No, sir, I, I just feel real nervous. Tom, don't you ever get a hankering? For what, Nancy? Well, to have things home light and cozy all the time. Most always. But there's another kind of hankering, too. To get an education. To be somebody.